Hey everybody, it's Scott. Um, hope you're doing really, really well. It's time for a fun three card reading for everyone. Haven't done one of these in a long time. I've been posting other stuff like me singing and me talking and all sorts of other stuff and I haven't really like pulled out my cards for a little while. So we're gonna do one for you. And this is kind of like, um, I know I was gonna do, I apologize. I was going to do free readings um, last weekend, but I've been so busy and so crazy and I've been like taking quantum leaps and learning. And um, I've been honoring that process and I've been really digging deep into a lot of stuff. And it's making me a better person and it's making me really supercharged for what's next. And so, sorry I took the time off. Um, I'm sorry, but I, I can't apologize because I'm really giving to myself. So I encourage you to do the same thing. Give to yourself and be yourself. And just, um, if you need to take that time for yourself, and heck, it was for your reading. So if you need to take time off, take time off. If you need to take a nap, take a nap. If you need to um, take a vacation, take a vacation. So nobody's stopping you. Everybody will be back. Um, hopefully everybody will be back and watching this again. So anyway, I'm going to do some reading So and talk about sort of this process. So I am going to do three cards. And I know I was going to do Cosmic Juicy Angels, but I think I'm just going to do Cosmic Juicy Greenwood for you. Cosmic Juicy Forest. Um, so I'm going to do a card from the Greenwood Tarot. And for somebody out there, I don't know who it is, but I know this reading is going to affect and help somebody. Um, so I'm going to speak to you, just you directly, and um, we'll do three cards. This will be your significator card will come from the Greenwood Tarot, the one that I love. I'm also going to take a card from Nari Anastasia's Cosmic Reading Cards. If you are not familiar with this deck, OMG. So really, so really nice. And it's it's very, it's chock full of like very subconsciously hitting art. Anything that kind of like pulls an interdimensional aspect to me, I just love. So I'm going to pick another card from that. This is going to pull that significator card into the cosmos as I call it and then um, just really make it all quantum so that'll be a second card pulling your significator into the cosmos and then for the juiciness I've gone off the deep end but I love it and I'm reading from Sark's Juicy Living Cards if you're not familiar with Sark her name is Susan Ariel Rainbow Kennedy, and she goes by Sark. And if you're not familiar with Sark, where have you been? She is an author of many, many books. She calls herself a, a laser beam of light and love. She is such a transformational author, and she has um, done so many things in life. Like these cosmic, re re these um, juicy living cards are just like part. She's an artist, and she is like, what would it be like? if we felt everything that we feel and live in that messy middle of all of our feelings, all of our feelings being welcomed and we just live succulently, you know, like if we needed to invite a dangerous person to tea, that's one of her cards and one of her sayings, we can do that and have copious amounts of rich chocolate cake. It's about living life, just living it. And so there's a difference between like working out our life and living it. How many hours a day are you doing something that you don't want to do that's taking away from living your life? So that's a that's a big question I want to give to anybody who's watching this. Just, you know, what do you need to do to step into this living playfully, living juicy? Because it's, it's our one life, and we probably have more than one life, and we go from dimension to dimension, but we're here in this life journey right now to learn some lessons and to really affect people and to love people. Let's not waste that. Let's just live juicily and show up. So this will be your third card, your your hug at the end. The fun thing about these cards is um, they're double-sided. So they, they have things on both sides. So you really get two instead of one. And this is the Juicy Living Cards by Sark. You can find them on eBay and Amazon. There are other cards out there that she has at planetsark.com. I'm probably going to get all of them, but I have to budget. So... Um, if you want to buy me some, I'll give you some free readings and coaching sessions and things like that. So that will help my obsession. So totally do it. Um, anyway, so here's your reading. So I want you to, whoever out there who really needs this, maybe it's you, maybe it's everyone. 
I want you to invite all of the angels, archetypes, spirits, beings that you believe in that are helping, that are positive in this world, in the, in the realms that you believe in, to come and assist you to be a part of your highest self, your inner wise self. My inner wise self, I call the inner wise elf because he's very playful. And let that come along in this reading. Maybe let it shift your brain state. Let it guide you to some sort of new way of thought, new way of thinking that propels you into a future you that you want to become. So I'll do a first significator card from the Greenwood Tarot with art by Cheska Potter, which I just totally love. It is the Two of Stones Challenge. And I will show you all the three cards and I will actually give you the meanings of what is coming to me intuitively. I'm off the map, so you may think that you know exactly what this is, but I'm going to give you a reading that's totally from my intuition. So just a warning. Then also from the cosmic reading cards, it's going to pull this challenging card into the cosmos. We have hope. Let's let you look at that for a moment. Okay. And then finally, your juicy living hug at the end of this reading. I just love Sark's cards. I just, she's a great person. So I'm so blessed to have like gotten to know a little bit more about her by joining her succulent, succulent wild world and just chatting with her on, on one of her mentoring calls. She's a great person. She's awesome. Really inspiring. She inspires so many people and I love her life. And that's, I'd love to aspire to be something like that. I've been my own, my own life, not Sark's, but some sort of version of me that is also juicy. I think that would be great. Be a good honor to her, for me to live juicy. And the honor for everyone else. Well, I probably already do live juicy, according to some people. We'll see. Okay. I'm not talking. Okay. This is your um, live your succulent wild life. All right. And then the back side it says choosing succulents is deliberate act of personal revolution. It means waking up, embracing your true self, studying your patterns, and letting out your most alive self. We all have one. Your succulents, your most alive self, we all have that. So, this could be for everyone, but I know that some of this is gonna reach somebody. So this, this um, significator card, this two of stones, this challenge, we have such a polarized society right now. We have such a challenging society. Maybe you have a friend, maybe you have a family member that's just picking at you, just at odds with you. Maybe it's an ideology. Maybe you're also just focusing on like two aspects of yourself. Maybe you're trying to start a business and you're in this corporate world and these things are just picking at you, picking, 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 always like two sides of yourself, two sides of the coin that are just opposites, polar opposites that are just pulling you apart. I really think that that's what the world is going through right now. This, this polarization that is pulling us apart. And, um, you know, to progress, we have to kind of get through this challenge and we have to make choices. That's all the twos are about. Stones are, um, are you know, like pentacles. These are our gifts. These are our magical gifts. This is like a, a challenge. This is when we're like a little bit more than neophytes. And I think the human race is just a little bit more than neophyte, not quite evolved. We're a little bit more than children, but we're not quite out of that childhood. So think about that for a little bit. Um, and we're still learning how to not be violent with each other, how to not pick at one another. Maybe you have a family member, maybe you have a friend, maybe you have someone in your life, maybe it's you, there are aspects of you that you just fight with. There's a creative side that you're just not letting out and you fight with this practical and creative polarization. So what's this is gonna do? This cosmic, Thing is going to pull this into the cosmos. I want you to feel this challenge. Feel this challenge. And I want it to just even energetically think about pulling that into the cosmos, into this whole embodiment of hope. That this is a necessary journey and that we need to do this so that we can be pulled into the cosmos through some sort of a lesson to show us hope. You know, we have to like live as children for a long time, probably, to um, actually see this come to fruition. And if you're like me, 
and you believe that we that possibly live a lifetime over a lifetime after a lifetime, there's an evolution. And there are many of us who probably do reincarnate lifetime after lifetime to kind of actually help move society and help move the human race and humanity and the world along. So it's pretty challenging right now. But if you're somebody who like identifies as like an indigo child, an indigo person, a star seed person, who is so frustrated with the world right now because you know that you're so in touch with the cosmos, you know that you're so in touch spiritually, but this whole world is just not for you. I want you to take a deep breath and just let this hope of the cosmos stream into you because there is hope that you are here for a reason and that you may not accomplish everything in this lifetime that you, you want to happen, but you are a vital link. Maybe that is enough. I want you to feel like that you are this vital link. And if you want to be a laser beam of love or a laser beam of, of happiness and hope, that that's what you can be and that your efforts are not unseen by the universe. They're not unseen by God. They're not unseen by source or creator. You're here to be a vital link and to experience that and this challenge is a lesson and it's a necessary thing and I'm sorry it's just got to happen um, that's what's coming through to me in these cards what we see right now and I don't I don't know what your political views are I don't know what um, you believe spiritually but I think these things got to happen all this stuff it all comes along it's all just like this this messy crazy human race playing its way out and the fact that I think there is hope, this means that we have already won. If you believe that we live interdimensionally, the universe hasn't broken down. Some people are talking about this new thing called the event, and I don't quite know what that is. I've got to research it a little more. Like there's going to be some event where we're going to have this interdimensional wave of something that will hit us and it will change us so dramatically. This event is going to happen. Maybe, but... I just want you to know that the cosmos is still spinning. This is what I learned from a really cool person named Patricia Corey. The cosmos is still singing. The birds are still singing. The, um, the worlds are still turning. The, the planets and the sun are still torsioning throughout the universe. We are not flat like this, and planets don't just do this. They, they revolve around our sun, and they torsion while the sun is moving all around the galaxy. And so there's this torsion force and this, this natural order. It's a natural order of hope. So you may feel so desperate right now that this challenge is going to break you. It's not. It's so needed. Whatever you're experiencing, it's so needed. I know it's tough because our ego says we got to do this now. So, but trust. Trust that there's hope, and hope is right around the corner, and there's a miracle waiting. So finally, your hug at the end. It's your lesson throughout this challenge is to live your succulent, wild life. No one needs to give you permission. You can live this life that you want. You can live your succulent, wild life. If you want to grow food and be a gardener, be a gardener. If you want to read tarot cards or or be a web designer, go and do it. If you want to take naps as part of your succulent wildlife or identify it as an elf or um, bring that out, your succulent wildlife has power to bring hope to other people. You can give people permission to be the zaniest, craziest, happiest, most wonderful parts of themselves. If you step into your succulent wildlife and don't even care about what the other side is going to say to you, this challenge of you're so artsy, you're so airy, you're so crazy. Well, we're living our own wild succulent life. And then your practical wisdom of this is that you're choosing this succulence as a deliberate act. And it is personal revolution and if you believe that this challenge is necessary your personal revolution step is to live your most authentic true creative succulent crazy zany life and we all have one we all have one
So I hope you like this reading. My um, juicy cosmic greenwood forest um, reading. So um, I'll give you some more of these soon. So my inner wise elf is just dancing around a lot. I've been doing a lot of fun things and um, learning a lot, letting go of old paradigms. If you go to my website, one of my websites, holisticgeek.com, I have what I call the cosmic landing pages that are coming up. It's a big step out of my comfort zone. So go to my site, holisticgeek.com. I dare you. So it's, um, you will learn a little bit more about me. You'll learn about like where do I want to go. I am, I'm not here on this planet to just change fonts anymore. I'm not here on this planet to just worry about punctuation. So I am here to help people, whatever that is, like whether it's web design or whether it's coaching, I am here so other people and me, we can all come along and shift the world. And if that's a quiet revolution where we get quiet and meditate, that's a huge ripple echo. Getting quiet is not so quiet in the whole universe of things because it causes a ripple of wonderful quietness. Um, you ever been to a place where it's like so quiet? Like I drove through Wyoming one time and it was like definitely quiet. And I couldn't believe it. It was so quiet. It was like so still. It was, it was loudly quiet. So whatever you want to do to create that succulent life, I really dare you. It's time for us to be more authentic, to really dig deep and to accept all of our feelings and all of ourselves and integrate and not fragment so much. So, um, we have this challenge in ourselves too, that we're so fragmented, but we came from star seed. We're part of this. We're part of this cosmic unfolding of the universe, discovering itself. And when we stop discovering ourselves and just for a moment realize, okay, yeah, we've discovered ourselves. What do we do with that? We need to discover ourselves as the universe and then take those steps to move it forward by living succulent wild lives so join me in being part of a revolution i love you all so um namaste from your inner wise elf bye bye